just wanted to share my experience because I thought it was so weird. Something kind of gross that um, happened on my flight today. Hey guys, welcome back to the Daily Departure. I am getting ready really quick and finishing up making some food for my trip because I am going on a four day trip. Yes, this is the second four day trip I've had this month and hopefully this one will go a lot smoother than my first four day trip that I had earlier this month. But I actually traded into this trip because I have a long Caribbean layover. I figured that a four day trip would be worth it because I was gonna have a long Caribbean layover in a place I've never been before. So I'm gonna be taking you along on my four day trip. So we are done with day one of this four day trip. It was actually so easy. We had like 60 passengers on our first flight down to Dallas and then our second flight from Dallas to Charlotte we had about 40 people on board in the back and a couple of people up front so it was really easy. Just super simple day of flying, but we waited forever for our hotel van here in Charlotte where we are laying over tonight. I also picked this up from my mail room on my way to the airport today because I got this package in the mail finally, and it is my GoPro protective housing for all those fun water activities that I will be doing with my GoPro. But honestly, I had some beef with GoPro over this item and um, I just wanted to share my experience because I thought it was so weird, like what happened with the situation of this item that I ordered. So basically I filmed with my GoPro like 90% of the time and I went on their website and I was like, okay, I'm going to get this protective housing item. And then I was also ordering the new media mods that they have, which is part of their GoPro Hero 8. And they have three different mods for it, which one is a, uh, is a microphone. So I was going to purchase that, but they're on pre-order right now, which first of all, I don't understand how they are on pre-order right now because the GoPro was released back in October and I received it back in October. So it's just kind of funny this whole time. I've been wanting to use these extra external products that go with the GoPro, but I haven't been able to because they haven't even released that product, which makes no sense to me because like all these videos I've been making, I could have had better sound quality if I had the microphone and I'm not gonna buy a third party microphone because I'm gonna buy the GoPro one, so why would I spend double the amount that I need to? But anyways, I decided to finally place my pre-order, which I placed like over a week ago, and in that same order, I ordered this, which was already available. So they have two-day shipping with GoPro, and I didn't get my items, I didn't get my items, didn't get my items again and I was like okay this is weird maybe their two-day shipping is like falsely advertised maybe it's like two days from when we decide to ship it not two days from when you ordered it which I figured was the case because about two months ago maybe even three months ago I had also ordered screen protectors for my GoPro and they took forever to come in the mail even though they were technically available so I ended up ordering them on Amazon from a different vendor for cheaper so I messaged GoPro and they were like oh no we actually aren't gonna ship any of your items even though one is available because the other one is on pre-order and I was like whoa, whoa, whoa so you're telling me I won't get this until the other device comes out and I was like this is weird so the other item has been on pre-order for at least a month and this has been available for the past like three months so you're telling me if I would have placed this over a month ago an order with the other pre-order you still wouldn't have shipped this to me and I would have been waiting for a month and they're like yeah so you have to cancel the order and reorder them separately and I was like no other company does this like literally I had ordered two different packages like two weeks prior one from Target and one from Amazon and I was shipped some products that were available right away with their two-day shipping and the other ones came like in a week when their shipping time was estimated to be five days like I just thought that was so weird to me I mean I really don't mean to be bashing them but you know if you guys are having like company issues this is probably why because that makes no sense to me and I think you're the only company that does that that just doesn't ship their other item that's actually available. Whatever, end of rant for this. I just thought that this was a really very interesting customer service experience. But anyways, um, 
we're going to open this up and oops, just broke the box. But I'm pretty excited about this because the GoPro 8 is actually waterproof and you do not need this unless you are going a little bit farther down. Um, but I guess I just kind of wanted the extra housing protective shell for my GoPro because I just am kind of a nervous person when it comes to expensive items that I was like, okay, I actually think I want to have something that lasts. Just the plastic exterior housing and the top latch is like that. And look at this. This is the best part about getting a new product. That was so satisfying. All right, well, I'm going to monkey around with this more on my layover tomorrow if I decide to take my GoPro into the water. If that gives you any hint as to where I am going tomorrow, it is somewhere with water. But I will see you guys in the morning, so good night from day one of this four-day trip. Guess what? I have a special guest. How'd you know I was gonna film you? This is the hotel room with a little balcony. I can even figure out how to open up the door. We will get a view in the morning. We got two beds here and nice big bright vanity and then the bathroom and a bidet. <laughs> Very good morning. Let's check out this view. Very We are all ready and we're gonna head back to Miami now. Boston and it is 1 32 a.m. Look at my stowaway passenger. Someone followed me to Boston. I have a very short overnight. It's 10 hours and we have, I have to be up in like nine hours from now. So it's actually not too bad. We had a little thing happen on our flight up here from Miami. This passenger threw up all over himself. And so we spent a nice portion of the flight cleaning that up and making sure it was all off the seats and everything. Something kind of gross that um, happened on my flight today, but yeah, somebody vomited all over himself. I felt bad because he was very embarrassed and it happens I guess, but you know, there's puke bags in the seat. Pro tip. And also if you don't feel well and you feel like you're gonna puke, let a flight attendant know because there are bigger bags we can give you. I'm gonna go to bed for the night and we will see you in the morning. Good morning. It is the last day of this four day trip and I'm super excited to go home. Hope you guys enjoyed this four day trip vlog with a layover in St. Kitts. Comment down below which Caribbean island you think I should fly to next. Also, don't forget to subscribe to The Daily Departure and also make sure to ring the bell so you're getting notifications when I'm posting new videos because I'm always traveling and trying to create content 
give you some insight on the life of a flight attendant. I will see you next time on the daily departure. And the last leg of this trip, we were on an Airbus 321T, which is an aircraft that typically does transcon flights from LA to New York. Occasionally though, we work this airplane from Boston to JFK. And this was the aircraft we were flying today. So it has three different classes, first class, business class, and main cabin. Each seat in first class and business class has wonderful lie flat seats and a monitor in front of you. Each of our main cabin seats also has a movie screen. One of my favorite features of this airplane is the middle galley for business class. There is plenty of room with ovens, coffee machines, and cart storage. And in the back of the aircraft, we also have a lot more storage with plenty of cart space, coffee machines, and cabinet space. Because this flight was super short, it's about 40 minutes, we served juice and water on board. We literally have prepackaged orange juice and prepackaged water bottles that we pass out and just ask everyone if they want juice or water. So it was a fairly easy day from Boston back to base.